Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. If you're new to my channel, I'm Tiffany and I am primarily an oil painting channel, although I will dabble in other mediums like acrylic, gouache, oil pastels. Um, but today I have a full time lapse of a painting that I did a while back um, and I just wanted to share that with you. And it's this painting right here behind me. So if you'd like to see that, grab your coffee or your tea, whatever it is that you would like, sit back and enjoy. So I'm working on a 12 by 24 canvas and I did prime the canvas with a couple coats of gesso to get the smoothness that I like when I'm painting. But other than that, I didn't use anything. There's no linseed oil on the canvas first. And I, if you know from my previous videos, I like to use Winsor & Newton Liquid Original in my paints. And that helps them not only dry faster, but it helps to spread across the canvas and blend easier. So choosing not to use either one of those mediums was it was very difficult. The paint would not blend and it would not flow on the canvas as well as I'm used to. The reason I did this is as an artist you have to try different techniques before you can figure out which ones work for you the best. And here I got so frustrated that I just took a shop rag and I just wiped off a bunch of paint. So it was just very frustrating. So I will never do this technique again. But in order to know what you don't like, you have to be able to just try everything. So that was a technique I was I tried and like I said, not ever doing this again. The colors I've used for the sky, right now I'm adding a little bit of alizarin crimson and cadmium red. I used ultramarine blue for the very top of the sky and that faded into cadmium yellow and I just used a fan brush to blend them all in which again was something I wanted to try a different brush about blending and there was nothing wrong I would probably just stick with a big blender brush when doing a sky again but like I said it, it was very hard to blend the sky so I go back in and adjust that later again with the with the lake right here as well I'm used to having everything blend smoothly and nicely and I just wasn't achieving that without the medium on the canvas And right here, it may look like straight black, but what it is is a 50-50 of ultramarine blue and raw umber, and it creates that very deep, deep color. And I added a little bit of alizarin crimson into the mix in the very foreground just to get a little bit of a different kind of depth with it. And I created this painting in my shop and the lights were very iffy. And it was before I was able to move into my studio that I'm in now. So that's why the lights keep going in and out. <laughs> and I'm just mimicking the way the sky is reflecting onto this little lake right here and then I'm going in with a little flat brush it's a flat number two I believe and I'm just creating far off trees in the distance there's not a lot of detail there and then this is just a little bit of 
titanium white and cerulean blue to establish the shoreline. Of course, I had to put in some birds. And one kind of important thing, especially with the birds in, that are flying, you want to try and stick with an odd number. I, for some reason, people tend to associate more with odd numbers. So if you count all of these birds together, there's five of them. That helps in, a, in the way that that helps to have an odd number like this so one of them isn't competing for the other one's attention it's more of just a feel that they're there using a fan brush for these weeds right here and I'm just getting just the main base of them down right now this is essentially like the underpainting so we're using a fan brush and brushing up and what that does is it creates a br bunch of little tiny pieces of grass at, with very little effort and then we go in with the liner brush and this is where I broke down and I pulled out some liquid original and I just you just bring it up and create all these grasses and you not all of them straight up and not all of them s symmetrically down the line. You, you know, vary them a lot. So I was really unhappy with the sky. So I'm going back in and I'm adjusting and adding color to the sky and creating a lot more depth in the sky. And right now, same with what I did before, I'm using a one inch bright brush. And I think it's a synthetic hog hair brush. And then I use the fan brush to try and blend everything out. And of course it would not be complete without your best friend. I am a big dog person and I loved going out and watching the sunrise with my lab. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that time lapse. If you did, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button. And if you would like to see more, I put these out every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.